Hi, this is Hank Hanegraaff, president of the Christian Research Institute and host of the Bible Instrument broadcast with another Hank Unplugged Short. This morning I read in the newspaper of an event that has a seismic effect on human civilization. The U.S. government has determined that one can mark their passport with either an M, an F, or an X. Before I talk about that a little more, let me simply say this, that when I read about this seismic decision, I couldn't help but think of an illustration that I read in James Michener's uh, uh, a novel titled Hawaii. It's a it's a novel about a thousand pages long, and in the novel, Michener chronicles what happened in Hawaii in 1946. There was a, uh, well, this Alaskan submarine earthquake beneath the ocean that created only a slight swell on the surface of the ocean. So you have this incredible tumult beneath the surface and only a slight reaction on the on the ocean water itself had a tanker beneath which the three inch swell passed actually noticed what happened deep beneath the ocean catastrophe may have been averted instead Well, instead, an epic tsunami moved towards the Hawaiian islands at a pace approaching the speed of sound. And in the end, its kinetic energy would would pile water 70 feet deep on the land before sucking everything from humans to houses back into the ocean with what Michener described as demonic force. And ironically... (laughs) The first sign that a tsunami was approaching was just a few fish floundering about in an empty reef, their tails whipping the water in almost comical fashion. In other words, the sign didn't seem all that significant. And that, again, is an illustration which I think codifies what happened yesterday. Again, yesterday, Wednesday, October 27, 2021. Because prior to yesterday, when a woman, like my my, my daughter-in-law, for example, becomes pregnant and has an ultrasound and asks, is it a boy or a girl? The answer, well, is, is objective. If you ask the, the ontological question, what is it? Well, all you have to do is look. If you ask the epistemological question, how do you know? You say, well, look at the biology. But now the U.S. government has determined that one can no longer designate a human being on the basis of biology. Instead, people can, well, can henceforth self-designate on the basis of an autonomous self-will. In other words, they can choose wholly apart from the objective evidence to subjectively designate themselves male, female, or something altogether altogether other with an X and to cement their subjective choices they can even mix up their pronouns and create a word crisis that threatens to submerge civilization beneath an ocean of subjectivism. And what's particularly troubling about all of this is that an intersect outlier has become the pretext for for what might well be one of the most radical transitions in all of human civilization. A 
I hope that Christians who have a voice will speak. You know, speak now or forever hold your peace. I've heard some voices already saying, in the big scheme of things, this is not something that ought to be foremost in our minds. We've got too many other problems to think about. COVID, Afghanistan, the southern border. But make no mistake, this, this is a matter of seismic proportions. Thanks for tuning in.